Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour the trinket tray mold and I've already mixed my white. I want to pour a flower and I use the Resitint Max Titanium White and also the um, Interference Champagne from Etta Art and I'm starting dropping my resin ink and here I'm using the Praline. It's also from Etta Art and I'm also using the peanut. You will see it in a second, so I'm pouring this around. The resin I'm using is the Mastercast resin. It's a high viscosity resin and I haven't used it for quite a long time, so I also need to get used to it. And at the edges, you see it, I also added the peanut and in the center of the one drop, I also add the praline. So these are my colors, quite, quite brown. <laughs> and then I can start pouring my flower. I'm just taking care of my piping bag. I put my resin into the piping bag. Normally I can handle it better with a piping bag, so, but I also like to pour out of the cup normally. So, well, <laughs> it's always how, how I feel, how I think it's better on that day. And yeah, I start pouring my spiral and you see, I have some air bubbles in there. And what I didn't do normally, I always torch a little bit in my cup so that the resin hasn't got any air bubbles anymore. But well, this time I just forgot about it. So I make a spiral in the center and I also make spirals at the right and the left where I added the colors. So now you see that the spiral is thicker. So um, I consider to make another round in the center once I've done the right one as well. So this is now my third spiral and then I can start pouring again in the center. That's what I thought. I don't know if it was too much. I have no idea, but I thought maybe um, it's better because they really turned out really thin. And like I said, I had these air bubbles. Actually, this pour is inspired by Sandra Retti. She has done in the M size um, trinket tray a wonderful pour. I will link this into my description box. And if you want to watch it, just feel free to watch it. It's in German language, but I think, you know, you can always see what she's doing. And her result was so awesome. So it really inspired me to give it a try as well. But anyway, now I'm just making my flower design and like many times I'm just putting my or pulling my, um, no, nah, what's the name? <laughs> the um, dotting tool, hoi hoi hoi, um, from outside in, I'm just making the design. And then before I do any more in the center, I thought just, do first the outer flowers and I'm doing exactly the same. Actually, for every flower I'm making eight petals. And I'm really curious about the color. There's gonna be a back layer as well and I was really thinking about what to do. And well, By the way, I, I'm not sure if I said this, the trinket mold is from Molds and Shapes, it's their M size and I really love it. It's from high quality and it's, it's amazing. They have it in three different sizes. This the smallest size, but it's already very big. They have the L size, which is around about 30 centimeter and the XL size, which is um, 35 centimeters. I think. So now I'm pulling my stick through the petals. So I have um, 
a different design. I'm going from the center and pulling the stick to the outside. This is what I'm doing with all the three flowers. And then I'm giving the center also a little swirl. Yeah, and I just remembered, I forgot to tell you how big this one is. And this has a size from 25 centimeters. So you see, it's really a large um, trinket tray mold as well. So I think the sizes are amazing. And yeah, while I'm talking to you, it's almost done with my flower design. Only two more petals, then the last swirl in the center. And you can also already see how the resin has worked. And I'm quite curious because um, I haven't done such a big flower for quite a while. And also not the three flowers in one. The Magische Blumen or Magical Flowers, like Sandra likes to call them. Yeah, there I was thinking, do I put some um, glass glitter in there or not? But then I decided not to do it and only do the back layer in a second. So, and this is roundabout because the master cast gets hardened very fast, around about four hours later. And I've mixed again some of the praline, you see it there. Quite dark, I really put... Um, let a big spritz of the praline, dark color, into my cup. And I'm just pouring it like in an oval shape into my mold. And then I'm taking the Arctic Blue. It's a mica from Etta Art. And I'm pouring this on top of the praline. You will see it in a second. Just on top. And it's a wonderful blue. And look at this color combination. I really love it. And I'm quite curious um, how it's going to look later on. But now I just let the resin spread to the edges. And then I checked again. And it was perfect. Now a quick torch because there were some air bubbles. And by the way, for the back layer, I used the ultra cast because for me it gives very beautiful crackle effects and this is now a time lapse and you can see how the mica is working its way through the resin ink so it's just a little bit of you to see what's going on there and i think it's awesome and this is after i stopped the camera because i needed my phone so i couldn't um film a little bit more but look at this I really think it's awesome how the resin is working for me it's always amazing but anyway this next day you can see at the edges how the mica um, found its way I let it cure like 24 hours because of the the ultra cast needs a lot longer so i thought wait 24 hours and then i can demold and yeah i always don't like it when you see my face like this because i always look so serious even though i try to smile <laughs> but anyway i'm just yeah i'm out of the camera i'm sorry but look at that i mean i was a little bit disappointed with some blobs but on the other hand, it gives so much depth and I love the flower. It's, it's, yeah, this piece has really a lot of depth and I really love the combination and look at the crackle effect. And this is now the final result and there you can see really the colors, how they are looking. And look at the background, look at the flower. I really love this pour. And yeah, I just wonder what you are thinking. And with this thought, I love and leave you. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you for the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye.